What's going on, Blackstone Beard here? The world's most okay chef. I'm gonna be making some pizzas tonight, so I gotta get dressed for the occasion. I am ready to roll. I got my orange Blackstone apron, I got my orange Gridlin shoes, and I got my Blackstone hat, all available at blackstoneproducts.com. We are gonna be making pizzas on a 36 inch Blackstone griddle, so I'm gonna show you what ingredients you guys need to make it happen. Let's check it out. Tonight we are making three separate pizzas. My wife is a vegetarian, I have two picky boys. So for my wife, we're using Stonefire Naan for the pizza crust, we have feta cheese, and we have pesto. That's gonna be her vegetarian pizza. We're also gonna be doing a cheese pizza and a pepperoni pizza. And the sauce, Cincinnati favorite, La Rosa's pizza sauce. Let's head out to the 36 inch griddle and get started. So we're out here, we got the Blackstone griddle on low heat. And the first thing Tessa is doing is she's applying some olive oil to the pizza crust prior to putting it in on the griddle. Now we have already did a slight uh, coating of olive oil on the griddle top itself, but before she puts this pizza crust down, that's what she's doing with her brush right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, different areas for the different types of pizzas we're doing. So she's gonna get a, a little bit of uh, cooking done on one side of the dough on low heat and then we'll flip it over and get ready to put on our ingredients. So right now, she's getting ready to do her pizzas, which is the pesto pizzas, which are done with non bread. While one side is cooking, you can be applying olive oil to the other side of the pizza dough and it'll be ready for when you flip the crust over on the griddle. As you can see, once the crust gets slightly brown on one side, it's time to flip it over. Now it's time to put our toppings on. First thing we're doing is putting La Rosa's sauce on all of our pizza crusts. Next, we're gonna be putting on the pesto on Tessa's vegetarian pizzas. The first pizza, now that we got the sauces on, we're gonna be putting pepperoni on pizza number one. That looks good. It's already smelling extremely good. Now we're putting tomatoes on the pesto pizzas. After the tomatoes, we're gonna to put on some fresh basil leaves. And these are for the pesto pizzas, already looking awesome. Now we are putting shredded cheese on the pepperoni and the cheese pizzas.
And on the pesto pizzas, we're putting some feta cheese. The key to melting the cheese is using these awesome Blackstone covers that you can steam broccoli, melt cheese on Philly cheesesteaks, and for tonight, most importantly, putting them on top of our pizzas to melt the cheese. Just a little extra tip, Tessa likes to squirt some uh, water on the outside of the dome covers to help with the process of melting the cheese. As you see, the cheese is starting to melt and they are looking awesome. All right, it is time to take off the pepperoni pizza and the cheese pizza. And these things are smelling amazing. Pepperoni pizza. And the cheese pizza. Now we're gonna be putting the basting covers on the two pesto pizzas. Now it's time to take the covers off and pull these pesto pizzas off of the griddle. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that pizza. Yeah. I don't know which one smells better, the pepperoni pizza or the pesto pizza. I'm thinking the pesto pizza. I'm not necessarily a vegetarian, but I eat, do eat a lot of vegetarian stuff, so I'm definitely going to dig in to this pizza. So let's see how these things turned out, and let's see how they taste. Time to dig into these pizzas. Tesla's cutting them right now, and I can't wait to dig in. So be sure to check out all the other videos on our YouTube channel, and be sure to use our code BlackstoneBeard for 10% off plus free shipping at BlackstoneProducts.com. We will see you guys next time. Cheers. Yeah. Man, this pizza's good. What do you guys think, boys? It's great. You love it? Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So even if you have picky eaters and a vegetarian wife, pizza's on the Blackstone griddle a complete success we will see you next time cheers